hello you are welcome here we want to find the value of x in this nice exponential equation let's write this as e raised to the power x plus 3 square raised to the power x then equals to 3e raised to the power x so this same thing as 9 here and this same thing as 27 then from the law indices when we have a raised to power m raised to power m this is same thing as a raised to power mn which is also same thing as a raised to power m raised to power m so we can interchange this power now and this will become 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power x then raised to power 2 which is also equal to 3 raised to power x here then raised to power 3 then next step we have 3 raised to power x common here let's use the letter u now to represent that let's u be equal to 3 raised to power x then we can write this now it becomes u plus u square equals to u raised to power 3 then when we rearrange and take everything to one side so we have u raised to power 3 minus u square minus u now equals to 0 from here then we have u common here let's factor u out so we have u into bracket what left here is u square then minus here will be u then here left with 1 equals to 0 so here we have two possible cases of u equals to 0 and we have u square minus u minus 1 equals to 0 and here we have u to be 3 raised to power x so 3 raised to power x here equals to 0 from here then here this cannot be 0 and uh, it means here it's not possible for this to be 0 so no solution on this side since this is not uh, possible so no solution here then from here let's solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here a same thing as 1 coefficient of u square b same thing as minus 1 coefficient of u and c same thing as minus 1 as well which is the constant here so u now equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1 then from here this gives u to be equals to 1 plus or minus square root of here we have 1 then plus 4 over 2 minus times minus is plus a minus 1 square here is still 1 then u now equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2 so here as well we have two possible cases of u and here we have the first solution here u will be equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 then the second one here we have u equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 then we recall that u is same thing as 3 raised to power x and here is equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and similarly here u 3 raised to power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and from here this side 
the number here is a positive and is greater than zero and here also positive greater than zero so here will be accepted so we accept this therefore we can work further with it then here we have this will be a positive and on this side this will be a negative number so positive number will not be equals to negative so we reject this one and here we can work further with this then now from here let's take the log on both sides we have log 3 raised to power x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then from here we apply the law of logarithm when we have log n raised to power of t here it will become t log n this is power law of logarithm so now we take the power here to the back and this will become x log 3 now equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here the next step we can divide both sides by log 3 here in order to have to get x so divide both sides by log 3 and log 3 we cancel out here we mean x which is equals to what we have here we can apply the change of this from what we have which is when we have log a over log b this can be written as log a to the b then that means here we can write this as log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then the 3 and here we have the value of x for this given problem and equally we can check this from calculator and get the value in decimal and x will then be equal to 0 0.438 which here will be an approximate solution to the problem so here we have the value of x in this given problem and when we check with what we are given we substitute in 3 raised to the power x plus 9 raised to the power x equals to 27 raised to the power x and we put the value of x here so what we have on this side will be approximately equal to this side so that is what we have and thank you for watching Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell on. Also, if you have a comment, put it in the comment section. Thank you. See you next class. Bye for now.